Developing now, THV 11 News at Noon begins with the latest on an urgent search for this four-year-old little girl missing from North Little Rock. By now, you're likely seeing the billboards and notifications of the Amber Alert on your phone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Fuller in for Journey Taylor. It's been 15 hours since that Amber Alert went out and still no sign from investigators that the little girl will be found soon. Authorities say Iviana Jordan is believed to be in the custody of her her great uncle. You just saw him 44 year old Broderick Hardman. She's described as three feet tall, weighing 40 pounds, black hair, brown eyes and has high functioning autism. Pulaski County Sheriff's Office on want Broderick on a first degree murder charge. They tell us Hardman has been in contact with the little girl's grandmother, but will not reveal exactly where he has the child. We're also told his cell phone has been checked and remains to be at an area at Cherry and Lincoln Avenue in North Little Rock. Anyone with information is urged to contact North Little Rock Police. You see the number on your screen, 501-680-8439. It's been a wet and soggy Friday thus far, but live radar shows a lot of that rain finally beginning to fizzle out and we're going to start to dry out for the rest of the afternoon. Let's get a check of what we're finding on radar here. You'll notice what rain it continues is primarily in southern Arkansas. You've got a nice steady downpour in Hope, uh, southern Clark County with some light rain along I-530 between Little Rock and Pine Bluff. Jefferson County continuing to see some of those light showers all drifting off towards Towards the east to southeast. Meanwhile, our temperatures now starting to rebound. We're back up to 81 in Little Rock, but it feels like we're in the upper 80s. There is so much humidity in the atmosphere. It feels very tropical outside. The rest of the day, we'll see those highs right around 89 degrees. Rain continuing to come to an end with some slow clearing taking place. So you might be wondering, what does your weekend look like? I've got an update on that forecast. It does include the potential for more rain and storms as we continue this very active weather pattern. More details on that coming up in about 14 minutes. All right, Scott, thank you. Now to another developing story this afternoon. A 12 year old boy is being treated at Children's Hospital after being shot by his nine year old brother. That's according to Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. They say here's what we know. Authorities responding to an accidental shooting Thursday afternoon around three at a home on Jewel Road. Deputies and officers from the Whitehall Police Department and Arkansas State Police arriving to find the 12 year old had been shot with with a pistol. At last check, he is still in the hospital. No word yet on his condition. The sheriff's office is investigating, but says so far, based on statements and surveillance video, this does appear to be an accident. Little Rock board member Ken Richardson is to have his driver's license suspended as part of a deal with prosecutors. You may recall this car crash involving Richardson last year. It's a story we've been following. According to state police, Richardson hit quote several utility poles, causing a transformer to explode. Court documents show the deal allows him to avoid punishment for last year's arrest after the crash and confrontation with state police. Richardson now claims he suffers from seizures and says the accident is to blame. A letter from a neurologist treating him backs up those claims. The Pulaski County Court, though, ordered Richardson's driver's license to be suspended until he fulfills a set of requirements established by the Arkansas Code. Elsewhere, a discovery is made that could help solve a murder mystery in Long Island. Law enforcement confirms the Suffolk County Police have a suspect in custody in connection with the so-called Gilgo Beach murders. Since 2010, the bodies of more than 10 people have been found along a stretch of Ocean Parkway on Long Island, several of them identified as sex workers. This is the first arrest to be made in the case. On the heels of the nation's toughest abortion law just approved in Iowa, abortion is center stage for many Republicans. And today, GOP lawmakers are taking aim at the Defense Department abortion policies while celebrating that Iowa law. Willie James Inman has more details from Capitol Hill. The amendment is adopted. 
Republicans successfully added an amendment banning the Pentagon from covering travel expenses for service members seeking abortions to a bill funding the military. It doesn't matter what position you stand when it comes to abortion, when the one defining part that most all Americans believed you can support it or you can oppose it, but don't use tax dollars on it. Then Friday, the GOP-controlled House passed the Defense Authorization Act, mostly along party lines. The bill typically wins large bipartisan support. The far right hijacked this, hijacked our national security, and this makes our country less secure, less safe, and it's an insult to all of our women in uniform, so I'm a no. On the other side of Capitol Hill, Senator Tommy Tuberville has single-handedly blocked the Senate confirmation of more than 250 senior military officers because of Pentagon abortion policies. President Biden slammed Tuberville Thursday while traveling in Europe. I'd be willing to talk to him if I thought there was any possibility of him changing this ridiculous position he has. He's jeopardizing U.S. security. Abortion is also a key focus today for the candidates hoping to win the GOP's presidential nomination. A majority of the candidates are attending an evangelical forum in Iowa today. Isn't it good to be in a nation where you are free to praise the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah! Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is using the event to sign a new bill into law, banning abortions after six weeks in most cases. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Capitol Hill. President Biden is now home after wrapping up his European trip. The visit centered around new members of NATO and Ukraine's desire to join the members of the alliance. President Biden and allies making it clear that Ukraine will have a pathway to NATO membership, but only after its war with Russia is over. And we're learning new details on that mysterious bag of cocaine found at the White House. The Secret Service says it's closing the investigation into the drugs, leaving questions remaining. The 10-day investigation provided few clues as to who the cocaine belonged to and how it got into the White House. The small bag containing roughly two grams of the drug was discovered July 2nd. FBI analysts examining the bag look for traces of DNA or fingerprints with no definitive results. The Secret Service says even video footage inside and outside the building provided no investigative leads. The Justice Department wants a federal judge in Florida to disregard a request by former President Donald Trump to indefinitely delay the criminal case into his handling of classified documents. In a motion, special counsel Jack Smith, seen here, argued that there is no basis in law for Trump's request. The judge had previously set a trial date for August 14th. And a reminder, the Friends of the Central Arkansas Library System book sale continues today. From now until 6 o'clock at the library, the main library, you can find bargains on some good reads. The sale is also being held tomorrow when everything available will cost only a dollar. Hours tomorrow are 10 until 2 in the afternoon. Arkansas remembers the life of longtime former public servant Charlie Daniels. He died last weekend at the age of 83. In his career, Daniels served as Secretary of State, Commissioner of State Lands, and State Auditor. He was among the longest serving state government officials in Arkansas history. Government buildings will fly flags at half mast, and a memorial service has been held this morning at the state capitol where he led major renovations. Still ahead, world health experts raise a red flag about aspartame. At 1217, find out results of new research on this popular artificial sweetener used in thousands of our favorite foods and drinks. Looking live into downtown Little Rock where you can finally see the buildings and the freeway there. We have been foggy. We have been rainy across the natural state most of this morning into the afternoon. Rain continues for parts of the state. That's going to continue for the next little bit. I've got a track on that. I also have an update to your weekend forecast and unfortunately it includes more rain and the chance for some severe weather as early as tonight. The latest coming up when THV 11 news at noon returns.